Hey, Ernie, I've had a chance to uh, look at some of these notes here and, and, and actually uh, look at uh, some of these individuals that uh, uh, you've been in contact with uh, this week while we've been here. Um, who are they? Do you have any uh, good thoughts about this? Well, y yes, I do. Uh, all of them seem to be quite interested in it, and, and all of them, uh, most of them anyway, said, what can we do to help? I mean, all you have to do is, is uh, uh, tell us what we can do. And uh, we, we have uh, uh, told them what uh, they can do, and, and like the uh, uh, city, city uh, mayor in, in Key West, very helpful. And not only is, is he helpful, he has just started a new organization to try to help the homeless vets in, in Key West. And, and uh, I, I volunteered my services to uh, uh, give, give my input on it, uh, whether it's uh, good, bad, or indifferent, I don't know. It's uh, just an input. But he said that was basically what he was looking for. He was going to have to have other people to uh, tell him uh, what was going on, what we could do to help the vet. And, and that is what we need is, is the uh, uh, help. And, we, you know, and then, uh, I guess we've, uh, uh, so far we've got up as far north of, as uh, uh, Key Largo, and we talked to the uh, people in uh, our uh, uh, Congress ladies' uh, uh, office and and she uh, uh, Ileana it's uh, she she's a, a, a fine representative I, I do know uh, her uh, uh, through other people and and they they all say and and her people in her office were, were really nice to us and and here again uh, well one of them was just a, according to her a sport Army brat. So uh, we we talked uh, uh, about her father, who was a Vietnam vet, shot down two times, uh, uh, flew helicopters, and and uh, yeah, it's uh, it uh, uh, really uh, uh, not, uh, it it, uh, it it helps a lot because when when I started this, it was me against the world. And I was mad at the world, so it. Uh, uh, I, I finally ran a, ran into uh, Operation Fire and Perfect uh, on the internet, and you know I was just I was looking for attorneys to help. I was looking for anybody that could help uh, a veteran so that uh, they wouldn't take him away uh, his uh, veteran's disability form. Now, you know the the, the VA says that. Uh, money is uh, uh, so that we we can live. Since we're 100 percent disabled, we're not able to work. A and uh, it, it really, uh, uh, when, when when I found Operation Fire and for the effect, then I uh, I called this guy up, and he told me uh, 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 Jerry Berry. Uh, he he said, you know this this is. We're, we're not attorneys, but we can tell you what our experience is with it, and and that really helped helped a lot. And and then uh, I, I just got on the uh, old computer more and started googling uh, uh, these guys, and and then I find out they're heroes. And I'd never thought of myself as a hero, but but people like uh, Jerry and and Jean, uh, they uh, they uh, when when you read your story and you don't cry, something's wrong with you. So and it was uh, it's interesting, and and they do this uh, full time. They don't get paid. It, it's just uh, something that they they have gone through this, and they want to help the other veterans going through it. So. Uh, uh, even if uh, you see this a uh, 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 little skit that we're put, putting together here, you just need to go on to the computer and, and Google that uh, operation firing for a fact. And, and all of those guys uh, uh, like uh, uh, Barry and, and uh, 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 Gene and, and uh, Simon says, Alvarado, he says, <laughs> uh, Simon is, is a, a guy that keeps track of uh, all of these cases in, in, in the uh, United States. He's something else with that memory that he's got. He's, I guess, a, uh, has a master's in psychology or something like that. Well, Simon he, is, a, is like, a, 
knows it all. And, and, and you know, yeah. as we would say, master of all. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and he's a smart guy, and and he's uh, but but that's that's what it's all about. You, you know, maybe we lose everything, uh, but I've still now got uh, uh, new friends that I can talk to with, uh, you know, and and I can get over it one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was interesting that you mentioned uh, the mayor and also the congressional lady. I know that uh, we also visited with uh, Mario, Mario De Janeiro, a, a, a former retired, uh, I don't know if he's retired, but he was in the Army as well, and family members that were in the Army. And he stood up to say, you know, uh, I, I can't believe that this is going on. And when he uh, heard the presentation that Jerry, Jerry let him see through the video, he was pretty well interested. Then he mentioned a, a person, and uh, you got to tell me exactly uh, this individual, how strong that you, your thoughts are, or good guy, bad guy, you know, that's fine, is uh, George Nugent uh, that Mario said. Is he a, a person that you can talk to? Uh, uh, George is real, really a, a nice guy. Uh, we, we've been to uh, uh, parties to, together or, or at the same parties and, and things like that. We haven't met anybody uh, so far that, that wasn't, 100 percent behind us uh, after they heard the story there was one one lady uh, working in a uh, uh, I guess it was a federal building and, and she she wasn't much in favor of it and then after we explained to her what it was all about she said I understand that now she said yeah you, you, you're not doing what I thought you were doing so it, it's a uh, but We've got a long way to go. We've got to go to Tallahassee. Let me tell you, when she said that, she, she at first she didn't understand it. She probably thought that was uh, not being fair to the other half until she really uh, got the whole concept of this when was being explained exactly what the whole concerns were. That's when she took a draft and she said, uh, now I understand. And as a woman, she did understand because, you know, we, we have more than just uh, the men that is involved in this situation of the uh, uh, disability compensation. It's also women that is happening this to, you know. So for anybody you think is only on one side of the aisle and not the other, no, it, it's about all veterans. This could be happening to you. You know, you might say, well, I get 10 percent. It's not going to affect me at all. But in, in real, real life, it is. It is going to affect you. So by us standing together as a team, representing what we know is right, doing our homework, and, and working together as organizations, grassroots organizations, we can make a difference.